The following segment is sponsored by Uplift Families. Grief can affect every family differently. Jenny Taylor, the wife and widow of Major Brent Taylor, who was killed in Afghanistan in 2018, is here to tell us how we can help our children handle grief and how she's adjusted to her parenting since the death of her husband. Thank you so much for joining oh, us Brooke, today. Oh, Brooke, it's so good to be here with you. Thanks for including me. No, first and foremost, I have to say thank you so much for your sacrifice and the sacrifice you. of your, your family for our country. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your story. Thank you. It's, you know, like most people in the world, I'm not living a life that looks a thing like I thought mine would but it's been a wonderful opportunity to stand up and give voice to some of the things that are so important to our family. Well, and it's so beautiful that you're able to help other people that may be going through a similar thing right now, and I can't even imagine yeah. what you've been through. How, how have you been helping your children handle grief? You no, know, I think the number one thing if we're trying to help children grieve is to let them choose how they grieve. And that was really, it, it's something I still kind of struggle with and it's hard to adjust. Things that help me might not help them. You've flown on an airplane, I'm sure, and they tell you always put your own oxygen mask on first before you put it on a child. Sometimes my oxygen mask suffocates my child. And so I have to really be sensitive to what helps them, what makes it harder for them. Let them go at their own pace. We talk very openly in our home, but I don't pry and make them, how do you feel about your dad? Or, oh, are you sad because dad died? I think it's just letting each child, each personality, each day kind of take the lead and just be really genuine in how you have those conversations. And when you give the space. Hmm. And how do you navigate, like you said, you know, you're grieving as well. And then you're trying to, you know, take care of your own mental and emotional health. And I know a lot of times as parents, we want to be that, we want to be strong for our kids. But sometimes we, we can't be and strong. I think, I think the most important is to be honest with our kids because we need to teach our children how to be honest with their own feelings, right? And so my kids have seen me cry. My kids have seen me lose it. My kids have seen me exhausted to the bone. And I've gotten better at recognizing the truth. I don't need to have my children think I'm superwoman. They don't need to think I can do everything or know everything or have all the answers. In fact, I think I would do them a disservice if I did. I often wonder about that with their perception of their father because after he died, he's famous, he's a hero, he's all over the news. He was also their dad and he liked circus peanuts. And I mean, what are you talking about? He was late for everything. And so we try to be really real. I try to be authentic with my children, not just because I have to, because I don't have the energy to put on a show, but because I hope I'm teaching them and giving them permission to be authentic with their own emotions and in their own life and in their own struggles. And how do you keep the legacy of your husband alive with, with your kids? I don't know how I wouldn't. To be mm -hmm. honest, Brooke, I feel like he's with me now more than ever, just in a really different way. Um, words echo in my mind, things he has said or would have said or funny jokes come up or we see the darn circus peanuts mm -hmm. at Walgreens and say, oh, dad would love that. Or uh, we're in line at the airport and TSA is giving us a hassle. Oh, dad would not be happy with that. So we try to really keep him involved. but. We also have, um, I found a lot of his journals or letter writing, even notes in school and things where I can see his teachings, his principles, his words echo in my mind that I know I don't have to guess what their father would say. I actually know what he would say and what he would have me say. And I see a lot of them, I mean, those character traits in my children. I'll say, oh my gosh, you're just <laughs> like your father. My daughter is a genius at persuasion and getting her way and convincing me that I want to do everything she says. And Brent was that way. But we try to keep his legacy alive by including him and those teachings and those principles. I hope they grow up to be proud of their father. And I hope they know that I also am very sad they're growing up without their father. And as their mother, that is probably the greatest heartache of all. And what a beautiful message that you guys are able to carry on together. Now, you are going to be a special presenter at the Uplift Families that is going to be here on KUTV on September 11th at 6 p.m. So we cannot wait to see you do that. And also, you can always go to upliftfamilies.org to get more information. Jenny, thank you so much. We cannot thank wait you. to watch you here on KUTV. I'm so excited for the conference. It's going to be great. And thank you so much for being here today. Okay, thanks, Brooke.